It's time for a Smarty Bit. Little bitty bits of smart. All right, welcome back to Smarty Van. Today I'm gonna to show you how we created a Starlink sleep timer, but these steps could be used to create a sleep timer for anything that you have controlled by Home Assistant. To set this up, we're gonna need two things. First, we're gonna create a timer helper, and then we're gonna use an automation that triggers when that timer ends to turn off Starlink or any other device. So why is this useful? Well, for us, we like to leave Starlink on as we fall asleep in case you want to be streaming music or any kind of video, but we don't want Starlink to stay on all night. So we use our Starlink timer as part of our good night automation so that when we hit the good night automation and everything shuts down, that timer begins. And at the end of an hour, in our case, the Starlink is turned off. All right, so let's dig in to how we did this. All right, I'll log into our Home Assistant install and I'll head over to Settings, Devices and Services, and we'll go to Helpers. Click Create Helper and we'll scroll down and look for the Timer Helper. We'll give it a name here, an icon, and the duration you could set to any length you want. We use an hour for our Starlink sleep timer. Then we'll click Create. And that's it for the Helper. The next step is to create an automation that is triggered when that timer ends. So we'll go to settings, automations and scenes, and we'll click create automation. Okay, the first thing we need to do is add a trigger and we wanna trigger when that timer is finished. And to do that in Home Assistant, we're gonna go down to other triggers and we're gonna look for manual event. And the event type here is going to be timer.finished. Then in the event data, we're gonna add an entity ID. This is the timer that we want to target to know when it has ended. So I'm going to type entity ID colon and then timer.starlink underscore sleep underscore timer. That's what we called our sleep timer. We're not gonna have any conditions in this automation, so we'll skip down to the then do section and we simply can perform an action here. So whatever you want to turn off with your timer, you'll add here. In our case, I'm going to add a switch turn off and I'm gonna choose our Starlink power relay. Once you've done that, we can click save. Okay, so now that we've created a timer helper and an automation that's triggered every time that timer expires, how do we actually put that to use? Well, in our case, being that it's a Starlink sleep timer, we have a manual button here on our bed control page. But we also integrate that into our good night or shutdown routine. That's a script that goes through a bunch of things and shuts off things like the inverter, the water pump, etc. And that also starts the Starlink sleep timer. All right, I hope you enjoyed another quick tip on how to use Home Assistant to set up a Starlink sleep timer. Thanks again to our Smart Event members. If you want to join, click the join button down below. And don't forget about the Discord. The link for that is in the description. And until next time, safe travels.